Hello. Okay, so I have um, I have a word from the Lord I need to release. Um, last night I had a dream. And in this dream, I'm not sure if I was part of this group or if I was just following them closely. My, my view was like I was with them and, and we were like going into these places. I was following or with uh, this special forces military group. And I know that sounds kind of scary, but anyway, they were decked out with like helmets and face shields, fully armed, you know, um, going in. And what they were doing is they were going in and they were taking people. And the people that they were taking didn't know that they were coming. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't know why. So it was kind of, uh, it was forceful. And, and I'm sure it was frightening for them. Um, and so uh, this group was taking these people and they were relocating them. And the place that, that they were being re relocated to was called um, Vicentio. Vicentio. I may not be saying that correctly because I think it's like an Italian or a Greek word. Anyway, um, I, I thought, okay, well, that's interesting. I didn't know that word. So, you know, but, but that's what I heard. Well, this is the interesting thing. Um, when I woke up, he kept saying that word to me. The Lord kept repeating that word to me. So I would look it up. So I looked up the word Vicentio and it means, um, it means to conquer or victorious. And then I looked up the female version, and that means prevailing, triumphant, conqueror. So this is what the Lord says. I went to record this, and he, he wants me to release this. Tell my people they're being relocated to victory. The process may look scary right now, but they are victorious, conquerors. Uh, they will triumph over the adversary. Do not fear. You will come through. There are a lot of people I know they've been in a really frightening process. It's been a lot of loss, uh, a lot of uh, death, a lot of illness, a lot of uh, financial struggle, a lot of uh, family struggle. There's just been a lot. And, and he said, look, don't be afraid of the process. And he's been talking about this a lot lately. He's like, don't look at the way I have to do it. Don't, don't worry about the way I have to do it. Don't, don't worry about uh, the person I have to use or, or the, the, the means that I use to bring you to where I want you to be. Don't, don't look at all of that. He said, just look at me. And, and he keeps highlighting Paul and Silas and how uh, we, you know, th this is an interesting thing. We teach often to praise through something, but there's another level that comes, another level of trust in God when you can actually praise him for something. And, and while we may not always understand, he, he said, you don't have to understand. You don't have to understand the process, but you can trust that everything he allows to touch you, he will work it out for your good. Everything, whether it looks good or not, whether you understand it is good or not, if you can look for the good things and you can thank him and praise him, for what he's doing, even when it looks scary, there is a whole level of trust that comes in that process. Just thank you, Lord, for whatever you're doing right now, Lord. I may be losing something. I may be, I'm, I'm, it may look like I have lack. It may look like I am, am in a scary place, but you know what? I trust completely that all things that you do are good and everything that you do works together for the good of those who are called who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I love the Lord. I'm called according to his purpose. Everything God does in my life, everything he allows in my life will work for my good. That's the word. And so I can thank him for every process, every process. And so when Paul and Silas praised in the middle of their uh, chained existence in the darkness of a 
prison in the, at midnight. I mean, the darkest time, the darkest time. And they're just praising the Lord. They're just praising the Lord, you know. It, it literally shook natural circumstances. The enemy hates praise. The enemy cannot stand praise. He doesn't want you to praise God for what he's doing through the hard things. But God will be doing. He will teach you. He will, he will move you. You know, uncomfortable things move us closer to God. And, uh, you know, there's a big controversy about that. And I really don't care. Um, I, I've been through all kinds of things in my life. And let me tell you, when I learned to look at things and go, God, what are you, what are you teaching me right now? What do you need me to know? How can I draw closer to you during this time? How, how, what can I shed? What are you removing from me? What, it, when I started looking at him and not staring at the devil, and when I started to say, Lord, I know you're up to something. Thank you. Thank you for that. Something happened. Something happened. So, you know, God is using everything. But he says he's relocating you to victory. Now, those people who were being taken in my dream didn't know why they were being taken. It looked scary for that that uh, military squad to come in and, and rip them away from where they were and relocate them to someplace else. But where they were being relocated to was victory. So you hear this today. You're being relocated. Thank the Lord for the process. I love you.